Alaskan homemaker, I'm Mary. Today we're gonna to make Mississippi pot roast in the crock pot. It has been super hot here, about 80, 85 degrees this week and um, this next week looks like it's gonna be hot too and we don't have air condition. So I've been wanting to make some crock pot recipes that way it doesn't heat up the house. So we're gonna get started. I have a four pound chuck roast here. buttermilk ranch powder mix that I bought from Azure Standard and I'm going to sprinkle two tablespoons on top of the roast. I've got one cup of water here. I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of my Korean beef broth. You can get this at an Asian food market. So we're going to put two teaspoons of the... You can use any kind of beef bouillon powder or those little cubes of beef bouillon. I'm going to put... A half a teaspoon of pepper, ground pepper, and one teaspoon of liquid aminos or soy sauce. I'm just going to mix that up a little. are going to put some pepperoncini peppers on the top of our roast. I have the sliced up pepperoncini peppers. You can use the whole ones too if you want to. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of those on top. A couple good tablespoons and then I'm going to pour a couple tablespoons of the juice, the brine. I've got two tablespoons of butter here. I'm just gonna put little cubes on top. And now we're going to get our mix here. We're going to pour this around and on top of the roast. And we're going to get this on high and we're just going to let that cook all day. I plan on making this roast and one roast lasts us a long time. This is a four pound roast. So I think I can get three meals out of this. We can eat the Mississippi pot roast one night and then we can make, when I was younger, we used to eat roast beef and noodles. So we can make that one night and then also we can make barbecue beef sandwiches. So it'll be nice to cook this once and then I love it when you can cook a big piece of meat and then make other different meals that are different from the first meal that you made. So I'll bring it back when this roast has cooked all day. Our roast is now finished. It cooked from nine o'clock in the morning until five. It's 5.48 right now. And here is our delicious Mississippi roast. I used some of the juice to make some gravy. They have brown gravy at Costco, that little, well, the big thing of brown gravy and I mix some of the juice from the roast in with this gravy and it's really good.
and I made some mashed potatoes and gravy and some jalapeno cream corn. So now we're ready to taste it. And here's our delicious roast beef and mashed potatoes and gravy and our jalapeno corn. And here's parsley from my garden. And now we'll give it a try. Ooh, it's so delicious. And the juice from the, the roast makes that gravy really delicious, really good. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It's nice to use your crock pot on the hot days. It's 78 degrees in my house and it's 81 degrees outside. So I hope you are all staying cool. It's the next day and I've got my leftover roast beef from the Mississippi pot roast. And today we're going to make roast beef and noodles. When I was a kid, my dad would buy the cans of roast beef and they were kind of all, you know, bigger than the tuna fish can, but not huge or anything. It was probably about that big and that round and it had roast beef and we would mix that with brown gravy and serve that with noodles and mashed potatoes and gravy. So that's what we're gonna make today. It's another hot day, 81 degrees outside. So I'm glad that roast was done in the crock pot and now we can just make a quick meal. I've got a pot of boiling water coming to a boil and I'm using these shells. I probably used three fourths of the bag of noodles. So we're gonna let that cook. A stir. And I saved the drippings, the rest of the drippings that were in the crock pot to make the some more gravy today because we need a lot of gravy for for this recipe today. I'm gonna make about three cups of gravy. So I'm gonna get six tablespoons of this brown gravy mixed from Costco into my pot. So I've got nine tablespoons of the brown gravy mix. This is a one cup measuring cup and I'm gonna put two and a half cups of cold water in here, but I'm just gonna do it gradually so hopefully we won't have any lumps. I'm gonna stir as I go. Okay, and here's, that was two cups and here's a half a cup. And then I'm going to get this meat drippings from our roast that we made yesterday into this pot. That will add some good flavor. And now we're going to cook our gravy on the stove.
This burner runs hot, so I'm gonna have that on a four. Give our noodles a stir. I'm gonna turn this down just a little. Our gravy is nice and thick now, so we're going to turn that off and take it off the heat a little bit. It smells really good. Okay, we're going to give our noodles a stir. And we're going to try one. Okay, the noodles are done, so now we're going to drain them. It is a bit early. We're mowing the lawn tonight, so I wanted to get dinner done early because I'm not going to feel like mowing once the, I'm not going to feel like cooking once the mowing's done. So I'm getting dinner done early. I put in a little bit of avocado oil and I'm tossing the noodles around. I like my noodles to be fully cooked. I don't like them al dente. So cook your noodles to the doneness that you prefer. Okay. I'm gonna put that gravy right there. And here's the roast beef from last night. And I'm gonna get half of it and use half of it in our meal tonight. And then the other half I'm gonna use for barbecue beef sandwiches tomorrow. I'm just going to split this in half. Uh -oh. And we're going to give this a chop. Chop it up really good. Okay, that's pretty good. And now we're going to get that into our gravy. Here's our delicious roast beef and noodles and mashed potatoes. We had leftover mashed potatoes from last night. So let's give it a try. I know it's a lot of carbs, but that's how we ate it when we were growing up and it's really good. And then you can just mix your noodles and roast beef with your potatoes. Here we go. It's so delicious. I hope y'all love this as much as we do. And tomorrow will be barbecue beef night. So we'll show you how we do that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night. It is the next, next night. And now we are going to make some barbecue beef sandwiches. 
So I've got the rest of the beef in this bowl. And just take your favorite barbecue sauce and I'm just going to squirt the barbecue sauce in. And just put how much you think is a good amount. And we're going to get that a stir. It's 80 degrees today again, so it's nice to have this. I'm just going to put this in the microwave. And I usually bake homemade rolls, and I make probably 95% of our bread items. But it is super hot, and I do not want to bake in this 80 degree weather. So I bought some rolls from Costco today. These are artisan rolls. And I want this to be a little bit saucier, so I'm just going to put a little bit more barbecue sauce in here. And we'll give that a mix. Okay, and that looks good. So I'm going to get that in the microwave, and I'll be right back. I have it in the microwave for about three minutes and it looks really good. These artisan rolls from Costco are a little bit pre-cut, so that's awesome. I'm just gonna cut it open a little bit more. My husband likes mayo on his barbecue beef sandwiches and I liked an, a piece of American cheese on mine. And I, I know some people like to eat coleslaw with their barbecue beef sandwiches. So there's all kinds of ways that you can serve these. My daughter picked out these artisan rolls to serve them on tonight. And it looks really good. Here's our barbecue beef sandwich. Okay, and now we're gonna taste it. Here we go. It's really good. It's so nice to have that roast, one roast and three different dinners. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.